When I am underwater, I relax. At the same time, there is so much going on. And I really feel like I belong. That's why I want to know more about the oceans and how to protect them. The underwater world at Frigat is incredible. The marine life is just so diverse and vibrant. Even the island is an oasis. There is always something to discover. My name is Julie Pezin, and I joined Cry Live as a lead scientist for the coral study here on frigates. In 2019, we captured very detailed underwater scans of the surrounding reefs. Together with Anna from Frigate's conservation team, we now selected a location for our latest coral research project. Coral Life started its first coral restoration project in the Seychelles three years ago, right here on the amazing island of Fregat. The experiment starts with metal structures being welded. These 40 frames are made out of rebar steel. They provide the perfect substrate for corals to grow on. Meanwhile, Bob, our leading expert in mineral electrician technology, is preparing the anodes and cables. In a team effort, we deploy the equipment all the way to the center of the project site. In the final step, the metal tables, which serve as cathodes, are connected in order to close the electrical circuit. Once electricity is flowing, a low voltage direct current runs from land to the anodes. Electrons then will flow through the salty ocean water to the cathode metal tables. This causes a chemical reaction, where the seawater becomes more alkaline around the structures. This makes the corals grow faster and also boosts resilience. It further helps with survival rates when ocean temperatures are too warm for a longer period of time. We are excited for the start of this one year long experiment and we hope to get useful information that can help us improve our restoration projects in the future. The corals here are abundant and beautiful but some areas of the reef are dead and deserted. Although it is really sad, the remaining healthy coral fields still give me hope that we can save the reefs. For the experiment, we attach four different species of corals to table structures. We then compare the growth and health under four different conditions. One is with 12 hours of electricity during the day, one with 12 hours at night, one with 24 hours, and the control with none at all. We will routinely collect data by analyzing photos using imaging software. When I dive into a healthy ocean, I feel that everything is going to be all right. And that all just perfectly makes sense. <laughs> 